Hey guys, show for up reviews, and today we've got a sneaker review and unboxing of the Tonic B509. Before we get into this review, guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up, helps us greatly. Drop some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment that's thrown out our way. And I just want to take the time and opportunity to thank the subscribers new and old. Without you guys, we can't do this, so thank you. Let's go, and today we've got a look at Tonic uh, basketball shoes. We've got this B509 in the white Lakers colorway in the European 41. It's a US 8.5 and it's a UK 7.5. But before I get unboxing, for those that don't know, we got an OG, believe it or not, basketball sneaker with the Etonics. They used to be wild and uh, very popular back in the 80s and they're a Bostonian uh, sneaker brand. There is a neighboring Boston uh, sneaker brand, uh, New Balance for those that don't know, who have just dominated. And not gonna lie, these sneakers remind me of another sneaker that New Balance have done, but this is Etonics's own basketball shoe. So if you look in the box, it's quite a dope, dope box. Reminds me of the 80s. With, you know, we've got a logo there with Etonics basketball shoes. And the way that comes out as well. Yeah. There we are. But you can kind of see the similarities between a certain shoe from another Bostonian sneaker brand. I'm not going to mention that. You're here to see some Etonics 509s. So we will start with the outsole. So this outsole is all rubber outsole. Got all the traction patterning right there. You can see some radial patterning there for you. Got the Tonic logo there for you as well. And if you look at the midsole unit, so essentially it is a cup sole all around. So it's rubber. Still, you got the rubber from the outsole moving up into the midsole unit to give you more traction for your feet. The upper, gorgeous leather all level upper and got your perforations there at the toe box and if you look at the sides so if you look at the lateral you've got the tonic z saddle there support system is there to keep your feet well the mid uh your midfoot more comfortable and in its place that's what that z bar is for the tonic logo as well the lettering on either side the lateral and the medial side you got this nylon tongue the tonic logo there flat laces and it comes with some mustard colored laces if you're not a big fan of the white laces that comes with and the insole you've got a tonic since 1876 right there with a synthetic insole for you guys. The colorway is called Lakers and I mean, it is gold or yellow, similar to the Lakers current kit that they're famous for. So the LA Lakers, for those that don't know, are probably one of the most famous NBA teams um, currently playing in the NBA. And I mean, the gold itself as well. I mean, it is, I wouldn't really call this yellow, it's more gold. So you've got the tints right there, you can see the insole as well. Like the felt, the cushioning is the gold. Obviously, the outsole, bits of the paneling are all around the sneaker is in this gold color. And again, why I'm saying it's gold is because back in the 80s, it kind of was that tone. It wasn't as yellow as it is now, it's more gold. And that is what the sneaker is based off at. It's based off the influence of basketball in the 80s. If you're looking for another sneaker that isn't that New Balance 550, um, this is a good alternative right here. And it's got that DNA as well. Plus, I mean, back in the day, Tonic was a big basketball brand. Anyway, that's me running it off. I'm gonna try these on for you, so I'll run, show that footage of me trying these Etonic B509s on for you.
When it comes to the fit, guys, I recommend that you get your true to size fit to what you usually wear for, for Nike and um, New Balance. I wear a UK size 7.5. These are a UK 7.5. They fit perfectly. My toes are where they need to be. It's not coming loose when I lift my leg up. And they're very comfortable, believe it or not. Uh, that Z uh, saddle does kind of work. I feel like my midfeet is in position where it needs to be. And again, again, they're very comfortable. If you're looking for an alternative to the New Balance from BB550, these B509s from uh, Tonic are very much a good alternative. Thanks guys for watching, remember to like, comment and subscribe, follow us at one of reviews with a Z at the end on Instagram and on TikTok. Until next time, peace.